This is Earth, the year 2100. This is the headquarters of Space Patrol. And men from Earth, Mars, and Venus live and work there as guardians of peace. It's a long time since I saw Dart. I wonder where he is. Marla, where's Gallosphere 347? Captain Dart and his men are in orbit around Uranus. How does Uranus look, Husky? Dead as a doormat. You mean dormouse. Keep on course, Slim. We'll make one final orbit and then leave. I consider it a waste of time to travel so many millions of miles just to look at an uninhabited planet. Someone has to police space, and it's our job to do so. Uranus is not uninhabited. The walking, talking plants live there. They are an extremely low form of life. Not as low as all that. I just saw a light down there. Light? What light? It's gone now. You must have imagined it. No, I didn't. I did see a light. Well, it can't be from the plants. Should we land and investigate? Not yet. Let's go in closer and make another orbit. Have you seen any more lights, Husky? No. I'll report back to Earth and ask Rayburn what to do. on this planet, and now we must find a better place to live. Let's go to Venus. No, Earth is much better. Earth men are highly organized, and it will be difficult to take them over without a war. We cannot make war on Earth. Their weapons are better than ours. We must conquer them peacefully. How can we do that? We duos have one power the Earth men know nothing about. We can hypnotize them and make them do everything we want. Now listen closely. The men who control space headquarters are the leaders of Earth. So we must control those men. Once they have become our slaves, they will make the people of Earth accept us as their masters. <laughs> An excellent idea. They won't know what's got into them. <laughs> when do we leave for Earth? Tonight. Our spaceship will lie beneath the sea, close to Space Patrol headquarters. And then we will put our plan into operation. Professor Haggerty, what in space is all this? I've been crossing different types of fruit with each other. Uh, that's a pine pear, a, a pineapple and pear, and a, a, that's a grape goose. A what? A gooseberry and a grape kernel. And that's a plunge, an orange and a plum. What are you doing it for? Oh, it's a, it's a hobby of mine. Uh, but now I've run out of fruit. Mm, thank goodness for that. Captain Dart has finished orbiting Uranus, Colonel, and wishes to speak to you. Put him on the video screen. Husky thought he saw a pinpoint of light on the planet, so he made an extra orbit. But we couldn't see anything. Do you want us to land and investigate? No. I have more important work for you than chasing glowworms. Set course for Earth. Very well, sir. And now, Professor, I'm a busy man. And if you don't mind, I would keep like to... Keep your hair on. I can take your hint. Luckily, I've still got hair to keep on. And that's more than I can say for you. I'll surprise you yet. One day, I'll be coming in with me whole head covered in hair. <laughs> what are you going to use? Coconut matting? <laughs> you wait and see.
give the command, you are to set your minds free and go to space headquarters. Once there, you must conquer the Earth leaders. In a few hours, we will control everything. Here is the signal. Advance and take over Earth. General Smith, will you order one of your military space crews to investigate Uranus? Captain Dart reported that he saw a light on the planet. I'll get it investigated at once. Will military ship JHL leave Pluto immediately and proceed to Uranus? Report your findings to... Uh, yes. Where was I? Ah, oh, yes, yes. Will uh, ship JHL keep clear of Uranus? From uh, now on, all military spacecraft are to stay away from that planet. <laughs> that should take care of the situation. What's the matter with you, Pop? Ever since you've come back from Rayburn's office, you've been worried. I keep thinking about that light Hursky said he saw on Uranus. And don't call me Pop. Sorry, I forgot. But what do you think the light can be? I don't know. Uh, there may be a strange kind of life there. Uh, bring me the file on Uranus. I want to study all my notes. And while you're looking for it, I'll have a bit more of my hair restore in treatment. You're wasting your time with that machine. Uh, what did you say? I said you're wasting your time. No, I'm not. To think we live in the year 2100, and we still can't find a way of stopping a man from going bald. Here are the notes of all the experiments you did with Uranus soil. I think your theory about a new kind of life there is right. If I was to... I won't bother with these notes. They're rubbish. There's nothing on Uranus. Nothing. An excellent takeover. But the girl is not important. It's the top people we must go for. I want that scientist taken over now. Quick. I'll give myself another five minutes under here and uh, hope that me hair will start to sprout. <laughs> what was that? Our first casualty. That machine must have a strong electrical current. And electricity is the only thing that can destroy us. We must hurry and make all Earthmen our slaves. Seems all right. No loose connection, no broken fuse. No hair either. I mean, no more hair. You're still bald. Attend to your business, my child, and I'll attend to mine. Uh, now, where are those notes I asked for? I've thrown them away. Are you crazy? Well, they're only rubbish. I'll burn them. Don't touch them and go away. Women, ah, their best place is in the kitchen. It's good to see you again, Husky. Have you brought me back a present? What a rude bird you are, Gabla. I'm not a rude bird. I'm a Gabla victim, and I love presents. I'm afraid I couldn't bring you any. Uh, there's nothing on Uranus except plants. Where's Larry Dart? He's gone to tell Rayburn about a light I saw on Uranus. You just told me only plants live there. How can you have seen a light? What light? I never said anything about a light. Yes, you did. No, he didn't. You're a stupid bird. Me? Stupid? I don't know what's got into you both. You're stupid. Very stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid! I thought General Smith was sending troops to investigate Uranus. So did I. But now he refuses to do so. I'm worried, Dart. People are behaving in the most peculiar way. They don't obey my orders. In fact, they do the exact opposite. If I didn't know better, I'd say they were being bribed. By whom? Space only knows. Maybe space does know. 
Do you think there might be an alien force here on Earth? An alien force? By Jupiter! You may be right. And not by Jupiter, Colonel. By Uranus. Do you mean that light husky saw? If I thought that... You were saying, sir? Alien forces on Earth. What nonsense you talk. But you just said... I just said it's nonsense. You've been working too hard. <laughs> you and your crew are to take a long leave. But, sir... Don't argue. I'll recall you when I need you. Hmm. Seems as though Rayburn's behaving oddly, too. I think I'll have a word with Professor Haggerty. One minute the Colonel was agreeing with me that there might be alien forces here, and the next minute he changed his mind. Ha! That doesn't sound like the Colonel. Hmm, I'll be quiet for a minute and uh, see if I can puzzle it out. What's this, Professor? Mm, it's a hair restoring machine. <laughs> well, that's one thing I don't need. I wonder how it works. Smoke in here? The air conditioner must be out of order again. No, it's working properly. What caused that? I wish I knew. This is a disaster. Another of my subjects destroyed. We've got to control that scientist immediately. I do not understand your orders, Colonel. Then you're stupid. Listen carefully and I'll say it again. Alien visitors will soon be arriving here, and when they come, we must accept them as our rulers. Are you joking? Certainly not. Those are my orders. The Colonel cannot mean what he said. He must be ill. I wonder if the Professor can help him. I hope you appreciate my fear. The Colonel is either a sick man or a traitor. He's not a traitor, and he's not ill. He's been taken over by an alien force. Did he say when he was expecting them to arrive? I believe it is soon. Then we've no time to waste. Keep in close touch with us, Marla. And whatever you do, don't obey Rayburn. Very well. Come on, Professor. Let's go to the control tower. If an alien spaceship is anywhere near Earth, they should know. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you, but have you received any strange signals lately? A few hours ago, the sonar beam tracked an unidentified spacecraft. Why didn't you report it? I did. I told Colonel Raven, but he ordered me to forget about it. It looks as if you're right, Professor. Rayburn must be possessed. What's the matter with the robot? Oh, well, perhaps it doesn't like the smoke. Radio control to Gallosphere 185. Return to Earth immediately. Look, Larry, it's working properly again. We must find out where that alien spaceship went to. Oh, I can't be bothered with such nonsense. Rayburn's given me leave, and I'm going to take it. Dart, come back. A strong electric current, eh? Mm, most interesting. But where did that electric current come from? There was only Dart and myself in the room. And that smoke, of course, but smoke can't... <gasps> Big Shabers! I've an idea it isn't smoke at all. I've an idea it's an electric force. Dart taken over, Rayburn taken over, General Smith taken over. But why haven't I been taken over? Keep your hair on, Pop. You're shouting. You leave me hair out of it, and don't call me... That's it. Me hair restoring machine. It works by electricity. And while I was under it, those aliens couldn't get at me. Ah, if this machine can destroy that smoke before it takes over a person, 
Perhaps it can destroy it afterwards as well. Move away from that machine. Don't be rude and get back to work. I'm too excited to work. Our new leaders will soon be here. What are you talking about? The duos from Uranus will soon be taken over Earth. So that's where the creatures come from? Yes. And we must welcome them. Ah! You're a princess too. So that's why you threw away all my papers. I'd better sit here. It's the only safe place to be. Come out of there! If only I could make Cassie sit here too. I'm sure to bring her back to normal. I must get him out of there. As long as he's under the machine, the duos can't reach him. Come out, Pop! Don't call me... Ah, but Cassie, my child, it's very pleasant under here. Why don't you join me? She must not go near that machine. I don't want to sit under it. Now, please come out. Oh! Catastrophe. My best subjects are being killed one by one. How do you feel? I feel all right. I... Good heavens! Who put... Who put all your papers in the wastebasket? You did. I wouldn't do a stupid thing like that. The machine worked. The dart is normal again. Oh, Cassie, me dear, you can call me Pop for as long as you like. Now that Haggerty has discovered how we can be destroyed, we must conquer him. We must! <laughs> do you mean the duos took over control of me? Yes, and it was only by sending a small electric charge through you that I was able to make you normal again. If electricity can kill these creatures, we've got to find some way of electrocuting all of them. But what can we use to do it? Electric guns the farmers use in cold weather to help their plants grow. An excellent idea. There are some in the agricultural stores. I'll go and fetch them. Watch out for any smoke. Uh, while I'm waiting, I'll call Myler and see how Rayburn's getting on. Ah, Myler, my dear. I hope you're going to welcome the duos when they arrive. I certainly won't. Space be thanked. They haven't taken you over yet. Now, how's the Colonel? Still the same. He has told me to send all space crews on leave. Oh, don't do it. Don't do anything he tells you until I've had the chance to see him. Please hurry. He is threatening to dismiss me. Marla, I want 40 space freighters loaded with atomic warheads and sent to Uranus. The duos need them. I do not think we have 40 freighters. Of course we have. Do as I say. But, Colonel... Do as I say. No. I'll have you put in prison. Oh, Colonel. <gasps> It's all right, Marler. I'm here now. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'll give you a little electric treatment. <laughs> Another of my subjects killed. Haggerty has defeated me. We cannot take over Earth now. Thank goodness you were able to stop me doing anything terrible. What about General Smith? He was taken over, too. That's why he altered the first orders I gave him. Cass is on her way to see him. He should be himself again now. Good. Then our next job is to find that alien ship. It must be close by. Marla, call Dart for me. Will Captain Dart report to Colonel Rayburn? This is urgent. Ah, Dart. I have an important job for you. Come on, leave, Colonel. You must find another crew to do your work for you. Well, the duos have still got him. That's obvious. Otherwise, I'd have him court-martialed for speaking to me like that. A little of this will soon put him right. I'd like the radio room, Marla. Maybe Robot Control has some information. Have you any news about an alien spaceship? Yes, Colonel. Strange signals were heard some time ago. I told you about it before. Oh? Well, um, tell me again. Fast. How long is our leave for? As long as we like. Oh, no, it isn't. Thanks for coming to the rescue, Professor. 
I'll call Rayburn right away. Larry Dart calling Colonel Rayburn. I'm myself again now, Colonel. Good. My crew and I will go aboard the Gallosphere and search for the alien ship. Come on, boys. We'll give them a lesson they won't forget. How's Earth look, Husky? Almost as pretty as Mars. See anything else on the scanner? No, it's all... Wait! There's the duo ship now. If it hadn't been for that professor, I'd be the master of the Earth now. But one day I'll come back, and when I do, I won't fail again. All Earth will be destroyed. We've sighted the ship, sir. What are your orders? You won't succeed in capturing it, and we dare not let it go free. You must destroy it. Right. You know what to do. Yes. We've got a laser gun in the observation cabin. Then use it. Increase speed, Slim. We must get as close to the duos as we can. Very well, Captain. I'm going to man the gun. Can we get any closer, Slim? We are foremost already. Yes, I don't think we can get any nearer. I'll take a chance and fire. creatures won't be taking over anything anymore. So I did see a light on Uranus after all. You certainly did. And I hope you don't see it again. <laughs>